Hi, I'm David Gonzalez, and in this Mystica VR tutorial, I will show you how to balance the depth of your 3D scene to better match the real dimensions of the environment. This will allow you to achieve a much more natural and comfortable 3D experience. We're gonna start, like in any other shot, by loading some footage. In this case, this was shot with the Insta360 Pro by Contrast and PC here in Madrid. And I'm gonna quickly go through all the initial alignments. If you want to see an in-depth version of this process, you can uh, check a previous tutorial. So after performing that quick alignment, we already have a viewable 3D uh, shot. But in some occasions, fully automated stitching may not give you the best results. The idea with Mystica VR is that the toolset will uh, take away uh, 90 or 95 percent of the work and uh, let the user focus in the in the details, in the important parts. So what we have to do after applying you know, all the uh, improved offsets and improved angles is to get consistency through the whole stitch. Uh, in this case, I usually do it by setting the feather to zero and showing the seams so I can clearly see the six pairs of cameras that we have in here. What I'm gonna do now is converting the horizon line in every single camera. For that we developed a tool that works as easy as hold down the shift key and drag left and right. And that pair is converged, I can go to the next one now. Next one uh, as you can see, that tree isn't at the same distance as that one. But when we're shooting 3D with this kind of rigs, uh, we can assume that anything that is uh, farther away than 30 to 40 meters uh, will see that infinity. So that tree will be at the same position than that one. And the last one, okay. Now we have a perfectly even depth, so all the objects through the seams will be, be at the same uh, depth. I can go back to 50% feather and maybe activate optical flow. Another thing that we have to check is on some vertical lines, like this one here. Um, uh, automatic alignment methods will try to place uh, both the floor and the sky at the same distance, and they are obviously not. Uh, this causes diverging parallax for objects that should have the same parallax from top to bottom. You can see how in this line, at the bottom part, I don't have any parallax, there is no red fringing, and at the top I have some parallax. We can fix that easily with the vertical balance. So by holding ALT to do it in small steps and press the arrow down, I can bring it down to zero. So now that line will be vertical and we're gonna be having the same distance from that point to the camera than to that point and the camera. So with those two quick and simple tools you will be able to achieve a more natural 3D and also more comfortable 3D. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and thanks for watching.